Hi everyone, welcome back to Michelle Reads and Box and we have got our Illumicrate box for March to open today. This has the theme of fantasy, which I will put the theme in the corner as usual. So this is an adult or YA sci-fi fantasy book box subscription. You can choose to have it with the four items that usually go along the theme of the month or without i get it with the items which is why i get this nice big yellow box every month and here we go that's our sneak peek into the box so as i've said you have seen the spoiler already but that is the artwork i think this is great there's a lot of kind of dark themes going on at the moment and you've got this like nice bright blues i love the the whole artwork there and the theming i think that's great Ooh, item number one, an underwater haven plant pot. So to, me talking about it liking the, the vibes being very light, look how dark all of this artwork is. I wonder if it's going to be as dark on the plant pot itself. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a very similar shape to the one that we got before. I can't remember the theming of the one we got. It was probably a good eight months ago now. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So here you've got some kind of underwater creature. You've got some, you'd never guess I'm a biologist. <laughs> I can't even think of the name of them. They're all kind of sea creatures, aren't they? And sea plants and some fish there. That is beautiful oh oh look at that person there i almost feel like it's so dark i'm missing it because of the glare from the window there wow yeah that's that's really nice it's got a lot of high glaze on it hasn't it but yeah love these little plant pots what i would say is obviously they've got to be quite small to be able to fit into the box so i do find that i have a lot of small plant pots at the moment in my house and like some bigger ones would be more useful but do you know what as an item from a book box subscription i'm so happy with that so happy talking about being so happy we've got our next book pot i know that this is our next book pot that's so nice ah. um who is it Ah, oh, which fandom is it i don't think i can remember so i'm almost surprising myself because i've forgotten the fandom of it let's have a look these book pots. Oh, oh, wow. And me saying that I love these light colours from the fandom. It's this light turquoise colour. Is it turquoise or maybe slightly more of a minty colour? So it says the legends of mythical sea creatures on the front. Obviously, that goes with the fantasy element or not element, theming. A mythical sea creatures, the Kraken Mermaids and Leviathan. Oh God, pronounce that word. I should be able to. Tales from the de deepest depths of the ocean. Look at all of these tentacles. That is, love it. Absolutely love it. I'm so happy to put that in my collection. Clearly did not think about cleaning this before I did this unboxing today. Next up, we have the next book sleeve, which I think this is my first one from a Luma Crate, which is very exciting. And this is meant to be based on the adventures of Amina Al Sarafi. I'm going to be honest, I was kind of expecting maybe some darker colours here to go with. I mean, you can see my books actually. <laughs> that was completely random, by the way, not planned. I was kind of hoping it would be more kind of on theming with the book itself. I think that's the Waterstones version. But yeah, definitely still fitting that theme of the box definitely I think that fits in fantasy I'm not sure it's what I would buy in a shop let's put it that way yeah I don't think I would not pick that design up if I were in a shop or if I was choosing a design for a book sleeve but as soon as it's come in the box you know I'll use it <laughs> I'll use it next we have these look like almost sticky tabs Maybe you can write on these in like, this is going to show my age, I was about to say a CD pen. <laughs> Who writes on CDs anymore? Who even has a CD player anymore? I don't know. But the pens that used to be able to write on CDs, um, you could probably write on these with. And it says on here, your magic is wonderful, I'll remember you. 
on both of those. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I suppose a lot of people will use these as book tabs whilst they're tabbing. can definitely see that under kind of the C theme going on in the background. It does say there, Alumacrate made in China, artwork by Mary Gonna Sully. I don't know if I've heard of them before, so they might be new with the company but or working with the company. But yeah, definitely different, I would say, for those. Again, I'm not sure I'd buy those in a shop. I don't know if I have any pens that can write on that kind of plasticky surface, but there we go. Okay, next, the book. So of course, Illumicrate do not do book bags anymore. You can see what it is through there, but let's open her up. So we have Fathom Folk, I struggled to say that, Fathom Folk, Folk, <laughs> Fathom Folk by Eliza Chan. So this looks very similar to the original artwork, but there is a colour change here. I know that it's less red and less blue, the original one. I think it's more like orange and like that light greeny colour that we almost see on here. And we've got this gold foiling on the name of the book, the author, and then within parts of the art as well. Let's see if we turn it around. I, oh, I was about to say, I always like when it goes into the design, but it actually doesn't, does it? It is a complete kind of edge onto there. And then it, the design itself covers, continues on around the back. So you can see these kind of dragons here, or I suppose they're fathom folk, aren't they? So they're underwater creatures. And they're kind of going into the back as well and the waves and these very kind of eastern buildings but yeah it's beautiful so i know that this is a cover that was not obviously redesigned by anyone by an artist it is from the publisher themselves which illumicrate seem to be doing a lot of at the moment onto the sprayed edge i don't think that's going to be to everyone's liking but i quite like it here with the waves and into the sky you can see where they've tried to bring those colours in but I think the yellow there is a bit much compared to the rest of the book especially seeing as we've already got this orange Ooh, but yeah definitely different and I am interested in this book so I was happy to receive a copy of it I'm not going to go out and buy like 10 but yeah happy to have this in my hands let's have a continue looking Ooh, this is very different so on the book itself it's almost like a completely different style of artwork it's a lot more kind of sketchy and descriptive whereas this is kind of a bit more i don't want to say cartoony but you know like blocks of color this has got lots kind of more to it so i'm going to assume that they are different artists it kind of goes around and onto the back as well. And again, you've got this massive sea creature here. I'd be really interested to read more about. It. I think that's a sea creature as well, and some boats and ships and things. That is very nice. So we've got more sea creatures, and we've got these two people. I know nothing about the characters yet. Do you know that this is a duology and it's the first part? That's all I know. I think that's the same artwork front and back. And this one is signed by the author, which is nice. And you've got a stamp there on the signature page. You've also got a bound in author letter from the author. I know they did say we were getting exclusive content in this one. So whether that is just the bound in author letter or if there is more as normal, we will take a look. So there's acknowledgements in the back. There's an epilogue. No, I kind of feel like that is the exclusive content, which I kind of feel is a bit of a, a misleading statement to say that that's exclusive content. It should be a bound in author letter. But there we go. No reverse, just check it artwork. So as normal, we are going to go through the synopsis and then have a think about our feelings on this book and our items. I'm going to butcher this pronunciation before I even start. No, I can do this. Come on, Michelle. Be a... Uh, have some confidence in yourself. Welcome to Tien Kaui, shining pearl of human civilization and a safe haven for those fleeing civil unrest. Or at least that's how it appears first. But in the semi-flooded city, humans are, quite literally, on top. 
peering down from shining towers and aerial walkways onto the Fathom folk. Sirens, sea witches, kelpies and cappers who now live in the polluted waters below. For half siren Mira, promotion to captain of the border guard means an opportunity to help her downtrodden people. But if earning the trust and respect of her human colleagues wasn't hard enough, everything Mira has worked towards is put in jeopardy when Naomi, a know-it-all water dragon, fathom folk loyalty, not loyalty, royalty, is exiled to the city. When extremists sabotage the annual boat race, violence erupts, as does the cl clampdown on fathom folk rights. Both Naomi and Mira must decide if the cost of change is worth paying or if Tian Kaui should be left to drown. This debut fantasy inspired by East Asian mythology and ocean folk tales is perfect for fans of Jade City, The Bone Shard Daughter and House of Earth and Blood. Okay, so that is the book for March. I don't think I've got anywhere. I kind of pop it up here. That's kind of out of shot. If I put it on Amina or Al-Sarafi, I think that's going to fall. Yeah, I copied it there. Let's pop it up here. Okay, so items, mythical sea creatures book part designed by Jane Tibbetts, who is at Chatty Nora. Our next fandom neutral book part is inspired by all mythical sea creatures. Which one is your favourite? Then we've got the underwater haven plant pot, which was designed by Anna Steed, who is at Thistle Moon. This plant pot features a kelpie from our book of the month, Fathom Folk, and is a great multi-use item. I definitely say that. I don't even think my last one I used as a plant pot yet. I think I've just put something in it. <laughs> so useful. Kraken in the Deep book jacket. So this is, is designed by Punami, who is at Punam. I'm pronouncing an N in there. Pohami. P-A-U-H-A-M-I. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi inspired this stunning book jacket and the illustration features the legendary Kraken. Beneath the Waves Sticky Notes. These are designed by Marigona Sully, who is at Marigona Sully Art. These sticky notes with elements inspired by In Deeper Waters are perfect for all of the note takers out there and are transparent for easy use in your books. Please ensure care is taken when sticking into books and if repositioned to ensure no damage is done to the paper or text. The best pen to use is a ballpoint pen. There you go, you go. ballpoint pen. Okay, so then it tells you a little bit about the book. It tells you about that so we've got the artists on the book as we said exclusive cover from the publisher end paper artwork is by at tropical gloom so that's that one there full color printing on the case is by at dan lins underscore art and a digitally printed four edge is from the publisher so that is that there and next month's theme is magic versus science Okay, let's get into some thoughts here. I'm kind of a bit mixed. I think it's very odd that we got two porcelain items this month. I do like both of them though. Again, I'm, I think I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the book cover, the book sleeve and the sticky notes. They're okay though, you know, as items go, I don't think they're the worst and I think at least they are useful. The book. I think is beautiful but we have this issue quite a lot and I've said this about three times on my channel already when it doesn't all flow like this is stunning this is stunning this is stunning but it doesn't match that does not blend in with that and both of them do not blend in with that and I much prefer it when all of the artwork kind of fits together and works together. Whereas here, it's just like a massive clash. You couldn't get much more different in terms of three different art styles and colour palettes. And I think that's what's making me feel a little bit like, yeah, it wasn't the best special edition. But, as I said, the book is, you know, it sounds good. It is meant to be a good one. So I'm happy to have a copy of the book. But if this was like a special edition to buy, 
I wouldn't rush to buy this special edition. Anyway, it is not just about my thoughts. What do you all think? What do you think of the book this month? What do you think of the items this month? Is this a box that you were excited for or not? Let me know down in the comments. As usual, if you want ways to support me and the channel, think about giving this video a like, that helps a lot. Comment, that helps a lot. And if you're not subscribed already, think about subscribing if you want to see more bookish content from me. As usual, I will leave links to the book mentioned in the video down in the description. They are affiliates, so you do not pay any extra, but I make a small commission off the sale, which helps me and the channel out. Otherwise, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day wherever you are, whatever you're up to, and I will see you all next time, which will be very soon, because my fairy loot box also came today. <laughs> so I will be filming that and getting it up immediately after this one. So come back and enjoy that one if you want to see fairy loot. Otherwise, I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.